Good morning, everyone. Here's your Eastern Idaho planning and weather briefing for Thursday, January 28th. We continue to watch the snow across the area today, really targeting that Wood River Valley area across the Snake Plain into the Big Holes and the Allen Park area up towards the Montana border, up towards Lone Pine as well basically where we've seen the snow falling the past 24 hours or so. Elsewhere, light snow, maybe a little bit of light rain mixed in across the area. We've got some big uh, downslope issues continuing along that 8486 corridor as well. Increasing snow showers as the actual low, it's been to our west, moves overhead tomorrow. It's drier, maybe a little bit of lingering snow on Saturday, but overall it will be drier as we head through the weekend. Here's uh, our satellite this morning, and you can see it's pretty complex. Quite a bit of activity across the Pacific. We've got that moisture stream still coming up into Idaho this morning, and that will continue through the day today and into tomorrow. A chunk of this big complex low over the coast, that swings through tomorrow. That's what's bringing that little bit of temporary increase in snow shower activity across our region. Looking at our matrix, you can continue to see where our highest impact areas are, the eastern highlands, the big holes, and Island Park, much of the central mountain areas as well, especially the Wood River Valley, the Lost River Valley and Lost River Range as well. Once you get over into the Stanley Basin, that southerly flow, that shadowing is cutting off quite a bit of snow in the Stanley Basin. Elsewhere, we've got a mix of rain and snow and breezy conditions, and some of the higher elevations we'll have, at least through today, some uh, potential for some blowing and drifting snow. But the impacts lessen tomorrow, and like I said, pretty much over the weekend, not much going on. Sunday should be fairly dry now. We may be watching for some fog and low clouds across portions of the Snake Plain, the Magic Valley, on, on up towards the Island Park area. Just something to keep an eye on, keep in the back of your mind for the weekend. Now here's the forecast as we go through today. Once again, there is that precipitation. It's actually been trying to snow across portions of the 84, 86 corridor, but that strong downslope wind has pretty much cut it off for this morning. And there's really not much activity expected in that area the rest of the day. And as a matter of fact, as we go through the rest of the morning, we see a surge of moisture across the southeast highlands. That's going to keep the potential for some little bit more snow and maybe some blowing and drifting snow in spots across the Caribou Range and also up across the Bear River Range Immigration Summit. But you'll notice as we go through the rest of the day, the moisture lifts out of the southeast corner, lifts away from the 8046 corridor, and we continue with a decent band of snow. It'll be broken, uh, not completely continuous, from basically Island Park down to Palisades West towards the uh, Shoshone Lava Beds, Craters of the Moon, into the Wood River Valley. Now this is where things get a little tricky this evening. You'll notice looking at this particular model kind of breaks up a little bit then we have a redeveloping band especially overnight generally from right around north the Shoshone area over to around Blackfoot over towards Palisades and that eventually tries to maybe temporarily lift back to the north and to the west. Some of the models actually even have it drier than this during the overnight hours. So, But the constant's going to be some continuing uh, moderate snow at times into the uh, Wood River Valley, up the Arc, uh, Craters of the Moon, Arco area, also the sh lava beds north of Shoshone as well. A little more sporadic elsewhere. We continue with that snow shadow uh, situation, the Stanley Basin, Chalice, on up to Limhigh County as well. Now, notice as we go through tomorrow, the precipitation increases as we get the, f uh, the little bit of a front moving through and that upper low moving across the area during the day. Tomorrow, showers expected across the region at this particular time. So there could be a few bursts of heavier snow with some of the heavier showers for tomorrow. But as we go into tomorrow night and f f uh, tomorrow night into Saturday morning, lingering snow showers over the eastern highlands. So we go on to Saturday and Sunday, not showing it here, but on Saturday, some lingering showers around the Sawtooth, also into the eastern highlands. Sunday looks to be dry at this particular time. So we're going to step through things a little bit more detailed here. For this morning, not much going on. The bulk of the snow will be falling again around the Wood River Valley, the surrounding mountains, and sporadically across in those upslope areas, up across the Arco Desert, on up into the Island Park area, also into the Big Holes. 
Teton Valley, if that southerly wind is really going to get downsloped like uh, several other areas across uh, eastern Idaho during uh, this event. As we go into this morning, those wind gusts do continue, especially across the southern highlands, emptying into the Snake Plain and across the higher elevations up towards the Montana border and the central mountains as well. For this afternoon, as we warm up, not a lot of snowfall in terms of actually what will fall. There's not much there to fall in the first place along the 15 corridor, the 84-86 corridor. But what does fall may actually be a little bit of a mix or rain and not accumulating. But you still see where we have that upslope flow continuing across the same areas we've been talking about. And with some of that wind, we're going to see some blowing and drifting conditions as well. The wind's trying to drop just a little bit, but still pretty breezy across the board, especially uh, across the southern highlands into the Snake Plain, also the mountains near the uh, Montana border. For this afternoon, because of that warmer air, that gusty wind developing or continuing, I should say, we're going to be in the 40s all the way from Rexburg down through Pocatello, Burley, Twin Falls, Jerome. Some of the lower valleys towards the Utah border will be in the mid-40s at times. But look at Chalice, 36, 34 in Stanley, 36 in Haley. So some of these areas that are seeing the snow continuing today, it's actually going to become a wet snow as we start to see the temperatures warming up. And in some places, they already have begun that warm-up early on today. For this evening, snow breaking up, especially farther south. What may happen is if we get this band of snow that redevelops across the st all the way across the Snake Plain, we might see some very light snow developing but not accumulating, especially like around Blackfoot, Idaho Falls, and Rexburg. But can only say it so many times, snow continuing in the upslope areas from uh, the Wood River Valley towards Island Park. Winds continuing, starting to let up a bit, but still enough for some blowing and drifting conditions. And that snow overnight as well, really not changing in terms of where it's going to fall. Like I said, once again, we may have to watch and see what falls and accumulates from Blackfoot up through the Rexburg area tonight. As we go into tomorrow morning, we're not looking at much in the way of snow, at least initially across the area. And those wind gusts do continue. Look at these overnight lows. And this is some of the reason we're not going to see maybe even some accumulating snow at lower elevations as it tries to redevelop tomorrow morning. Look at this, 37 Burley, 36, 37, all the way up through Blackfoot, Idaho Falls, 34 in Rexburg. We're looking at right at freezing in Driggs as well. In the Central Mountains, temperatures cooler because of the lack of the, the wind across the Snake Plain and the Southern Highlands, temperatures dropping off into the teens and 20s. And we continue to watch for some light snow across the area, maybe a little bit more in some of the mountainous areas during the afternoon hours with the showers. Winds continuing to decrease, but still gusty in some places. And temperatures tomorrow, not too di much different, maybe a degree or two overall, but many areas still well above freezing for tomorrow afternoon for those high temperatures. So that means in some places where it has snow and it has accumulated, it's going to melt, or it may just simply fall and melt as well, especially for areas that are closer to about 35, 36 degrees. And then tomorrow evening, some lingering snow. The shift into the snow will be across the southern and eastern highlands, and that will continue into, like I said, early Saturday morning, and then not much expected by that time as well. Temperature Saturday morning still along the uh, interstate corridor right around or just above freezing. Elsewhere, we're going to be in the teens and 20s. Highs cooling off, but still many areas above freezing. Still looking at some 40s, low 40s from the lower Snake Plain westward towards the Treasure Valley. Sunday morning should be cooler across the board and will still be just slightly cooling off. I think in the upper part of the Snake Plain, some portions of the Magic Valley on up towards the Island Park area, that stratus may help work to hold temperatures down quite a bit. So not much snow expected, and like we said, by Sunday we should be dry. So once again, our snow event continues in our areas we've been talking about the past couple of days. Some uh, light precipitation elsewhere, a little bit of an increase in shower activity tomorrow before we dry out over the weekend. If you have any questions, give us a call. Uh, once again, if you're traveling today, uh, check with our partners at 511, Idaho 511. Also, some of your uh, more uh, local municipalities with their uh, traffic and um, snow removal plans as well. Otherwise, have a great day and stay safe out there, everyone.